Hello, I'm Judge Houston Wells. Welcome to another version of County Connections. With me today are, are two very special guests that work here at the Physical Court, Laura Chilton, our Occupational Tax and uh, Business Administrator, and Eric Cockley, who is the Planning and Zoning Supervisor. Let's start with Laura. Laura, tell us a little bit about business license and uh, how that's how we doing in Franklin County at the growth of growth of our businesses. We have seen some growth uh, in our business license issuance over the last couple years. Um, in the last six months, I've issued 132 business licenses. That's uh, for local businesses as well as. Um, say contractors that are coming in from out of town working on job sites um, so it is it's picked up quite a bit that's great that's great news uh, so if a person or a company is located in Richmond Kentucky and they're coming to Franklin County to do business do they need to to file for a, a business license Yes, yes, they do. Um, anyone, whether you're a, a resident of Franklin County or you're coming here working from out of town, um, you do need to obtain a Franklin County business license. Uh, you can do that. Um, either come in the office, stop in, fill out the application. Uh, you'll need um, your tax ID number, EIN number, uh, social security number. Um, there's um, generally one form that has to be filled out unless it's a Franklin County home office. Then there's uh, a couple of forms that will have to be completed. You can also do that online. Um, I can email the forms to you. Um, just several different ways you can handle that. Is it a long process or just, uh, or just filling out the application? That's all they have to do? Just fill out the applications. And generally, if there's not any questions or concerns, uh, we have them approved and processed and out by the next business day. That's awesome. That's great. Well, thank you, Laura. Thank you. And it's great news that we uh, are growing in Franklin County, that we're up over last year. And last year was high. And so it, it just a continued upbeat of uh, businesses and and uh, uh, getting things done in Franklin County. And speaking of that, let's now turn to Eric Cockley and let's talk with Eric about what's happening with the growth in Franklin County. Sure. Eric, in, in your role, people come in and they have to file uh, plans with you. Tell us a little bit about that process. Um, well, generally any new business that's gonna come in and it's gonna involve new construction or enlargement of an existing business, they'll come to our office um, to have those development plans review and that sort of thing alongside of any business license requirements that are necessary. So, so we get to kind of see that, that, that action as it comes in and, and help those folks get, uh, get prepared and get going. Great. So what kind of new businesses do we have? What, what are we seeing as, as Laura says that we're, uh, we have, uh, we're up on the business license part. Mm -hmm. What about new construction? Uh, we've got a number of things under new construction. Uh, currently, a number of convenience stores around town uh, that you may see going up are under construction. Um, there's a new Home Two Suites by Hilton on the east side of town that should be complete in the next couple months. Um, also, I think just as exciting, uh, in Industrial Park 3, we've got about 120,000 square feet combined of uh, manufacturing under construction that's either uh, new growth of existing businesses that we have out there or new manufacturing construction so that's pretty exciting what about uh, West 6 uh, that's a new venue that sure. that I know that people are uh, interested in and, and want to know what's happening with that well West 6 the brewery from Lexington bought a farm um, out on Shadrick Ferry in northern Franklin County so we've been working with them to get that project going um, the whole the whole purpose of this thing it's pretty neat uh, they, they're going to have a farm that demonstrates a lot of the agricultural things of making the beer, and it's going to be an event center and have a new tap room, which I think they're going to have uh, complete, hopefully, early summer, something like that. So hopefully they'll be running. We're excited about that. Um, and that, of course, ties into all of our, our wonderful distillery business we have here uh, with both Buffalo Trace and, and Jim Beam. And, and as I think most of us are familiar, those, those folks, um, that, that business is booming, and we have any number of things um, in process with them. They're, they're always working to expand uh, their capacity in their business. So uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the first three uh, of the warehouses that are going up um, behind Buffalo Trace on the farm that they purchased a number of years ago are nearing completion, and we expect to start review on additional warehouses soon. So, so that's all been going really well. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, they're talking about somewhere between 12 and 14 new uh, mm -hmm. where, warehouses over the 
um, next year or so, which is huge expansion of Buffalo Trace. Absolutely. A lot of good things are happening. Yesterday I was at the uh, Lakeview Park, and there is a uh, construction site right next to, on Seven Town Lane right next to Lakeview. Mm -hmm. it, it's in the county, and uh, I believe you said it's going to be a convenience store? Yes, that'll be a convenience store gas station. That's at the corner of Stedman Town and Georgetown Road. Um, they're under construction now, so may be complete uh, this summer, something like that. That's actually part of an entire area that got a zone change just a couple of years ago. Um, so there's additional property behind that that's also zoned commercial, so we may see future growth there, um, as well as uh, more industrial property um, that may end up having more, more warehouses or other industrial uses, similar to that large warehouse that you may have seen go up uh, in the last couple of years there off of Georgetown Road. Great, Eric. Great information. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uptick in uh, uh, businesses. Let's talk a little bit about residential. I know that uh, the residential uh, uh, applications are, are up as well. Yes, uh, much, much like a lot of communities, we, uh, we saw a, a, a slowing down during the, the Great Recession. Since then, uh, Franklin County has been fortunate that uh, we've seen a sort of gradual and steady uptick of, of new residential building. Just this past year, uh, we permitted through building permits and farmsteads 61 new units of single family detached just in unincorporated area of Franklin County. And that's just in the past three months? That's just this past year. Okay, the past year. Um, so, and that's a, that's a reasonably significant uh, increase over the years before, but the last three or four years we've seen a steady incline. So I think that's good to see that, that we've just consistently grown. Uh, we've, we've had got a number of unfinished subdivisions from pre-recession that have since been completed by developers and are now selling lots um, and constructing homes. So we, of course, always like to see that, um, that infrastructure that's already been put in be, be made good use. Um, one of the exciting projects we have, another uh, uh, newly developed that I think will be finished soon, uh, residential subdivision off of Carville Lane, you may have noticed. Uh, it's, the, it's the same home of the, the large flagpole that you can see from the interstate, which you may be familiar with. Um, that's a, a residential subdivision uh, called the Chandler, which is a very unique project. There's, a, there's a, going to be a mixture of uh, 42 single-family detached homes, as well as two areas for some multi-family and single-family attached um, very unique laid out, scenic, uh, it's a gated community with a, a covered bridge over the creek when you first enter, and I think some interesting home designs that may harken back to sort of the 1950s and your Sears Craftsman homes, and a lot of attention paid to the layout of that. So we're kind of excited to see how that project goes. Hopefully, hopefully that'll go well. Yeah, that's, that is an exciting uh, development that's going on. <laughs> Uh, on Cartwell Lane, and I believe uh, Mr. Davenport is doing that, and uh, mm -hmm. when he does things, they usually are done in, in a pretty nice fashion. Well, that, that's all interesting news, great news that uh, about growth. Our businesses are growing, uh, our community is growing, and most importantly, we're getting jobs in. And so with that, great news by our two staff members, Eric Cockley and Laura Chilton. I thank them for being part of County Connections. I thank you for watching County Connections. We hope that you like and share our program, and please stay tuned and keep watching County Connections. Thank you so much for watching.